Hello, internet person. Um, maybe two people might watch this. <laughs> maybe none. <laughs> but those who do, um, I've got a special treat for you today. I'm going to show you the difference between gypsy picking and Benson picking. And Benson picking is something I haven't really done a huge amount of, um, but I've been working on it for the past few months and I've got it worked up to the point where I'm happy to gig it. Um, although probably there'll be somebody uh, telling me how I'm not doing it right and that is all wrong, but um, uh, yeah, um, in which case leave comments at the bottom and tell me how to do it right or uh, um, whatever. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, this is a really cohesive video that I'm making here today. Uh, anyway, so, um, well, uh, yeah. I'm just going to do um, a scale based on gypsy picking and uh, see the one, <laughs> this is gypsy picking I'm going to do a scale based on Benson picking i was reasonably in tune, so I'll go Watch it from the side, there you go So this is the Benson picking. On the side. And this is how I generally use Benson picking, which is, uh, I don't think it's pure Benson picking. It's a little bit of a softer grip and I, I use um, I kind of use my middle finger to support the pick as well, which is something that Kurt Rosenwinkel and Pat Matheny do. Um, it's something I used to do before I learned how to gypsy pick, although I wasn't actually I wasn't using the trading edge of the pick to to uh, to play with at that point. This is this is this is new. So this is probably not purest Benson picking, and it has a different kind of sound, I think. <laughs> So, I mean, I'll let that speak for itself um, in terms of acoustic sound. This is this guitar is not plugged in, so it's purely off the guitar itself that you're hearing the tone. Um, my feeling is that Benson picking is really flexible. They can do up straights really well, you know, it doesn't have any of that kind of... Um, if I gypsy pick that, you know, it's like... Much harder for me to do upstrokes, you know, so I'm kind of limited in the kind of picking approach I can use. It's pretty much. I can do the odd upstroke like that. Even though that's not, strictly speaking, completely legitimate gypsy picking. Um, and they'll probably, you know, if you do that somewhat, they'll run you out of town with pitchforks and blazing torches. Um, but. <clears throat> I don't mean to sound well, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, so but you know, on the whole, I would say that gypsy picking does favour the, the traditional picking directions that we use. Um, it's not, it's not like you hold a pick like this and then you have to do a lot of random, ab arbitrary shit. <laughs> you know, it's like that is that is the technique emerges out of everything. Everything's very natural. Um, it's uh, it's a brilliant technique, and uh, the the main things I recommend it is it's acoustic. Sorry, I'll say that when I'm not playing. The main things I recommend it is it's acoustic projection. Um, I play, chord, you know, I play single note lines. And what's more is you can get a lot of acoustic projection without tension. I'm really not kind of, I'm not whacking the guitar here, I'm just kind of... You know, it's kind of, kind of cool. Um, things that go against it, I would say it's quite hard to achieve absolute evenness in the way that you can with alternate picking. Um, I would say that there's always a tendency to rush when you're going up and up scales and up arpeggios in pitch, I mean down towards the floor in terms of physical direction you're going in. Um, both of which can be addressed and Jagger was able to play pretty evenly while using this technique so it's not entirely but you know you do get a bit of a lilt to your playing um, which can be great for swing stuff I think and um, perhaps less good if you're trying to play some kind of contemporary straight eights music or something. Um, 
Benson picking, on the other hand, is very flexible, and you can use alternate picking, and you can use gypsy style downstroke heavy picking, you know, or you can use uh, sweet picking, whatever you want. Uh, Frank Gambale style economy picking, whatever the whatever the thing that you're into, you can do. But the thing about gypsy uh, George Benson picking is that you can get a good acoustic sound. <laughs> get the freedom of the wrist but I do find that to play hard oops, excuse me to play hard you just kind of need a little bit more impetus than you do if you're gypsy picking but I mean your mileage may vary I mean I know that Sebastian Genil he kind of uses uh, this kind of pick grip um, people seem to <coughs> disagree on whether or not it's actually using Benson picking. So I'm, I'm open to the idea that this could eventually replace my gypsy picking technique. Um, it's nice to have one technique that covers everything, but I mean for the moment I still, you know, and also something, you know, something quite... There's not that much difference, maybe I should just gypsy pick everything. Oh, sorry, George Benson pick everything um, because it has the, the projection but also the flexibility, so there's a thought. Um, and uh, Genel seems to use it in an acoustic setting uh, for playing. Um, oh, a parakeet just flew outside my window or something. What is that? Uh, we have lots of green birds here in Crystal Palace. It's like being in the tropics, except for the fact that it's absolutely freezing. Okay, so. <clears throat> I don't know how they have to deal with that. Are they tropical birds? I don't know. Oh, anyway. um, so there you go. Uh, parakeets and gypsy jazz and Benson picking. Um, here from uh, the promised land of Crystal Palace. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, and I hope that starkly demonstrates um, the acoustic projection capabilities of both picking styles. I think. Um, I'm gravitating more and more to Gypsy, uh, sorry, more and more to Benson picking because I think it's a really, you can kind of do what, what you do. I mean, the, mechanically it's the same as Gypsy picking. You're doing the same thing with your arm and your hand. You, drive, you can drive the sound with your, your arm waiting a bit. The only thing that I'd say would kind of compromise your acoustic sound would be um, the fact that you are actually anchoring your hand on, on the guitar, which you're not doing with gypsy picking. So if this scratch plate wasn't here, if I was playing on my Maca Ferry, maybe I'll play it on my Maca Ferry and we'll see the difference. So, this is uh, uh, gypsy picking. It's the lick I always play when I pick up a guitar, it's always the same. One finger, because using that finger there isn't strictly speaking Benson picking. Well, I'm finding my arm locking up a bit. That might just be a reflection of the fact that I haven't quite mastered Benson picking yet, rather than that the technique causes you to lock your arm up um, when you're playing loud. Anyway, um, I hope that was of interest to you. I didn't really notice too much difference in the guitar sound from where I'm sitting between the two techniques, um, but they might come out on camera differently, um, as often these things do. So I hope you find that interesting and instructive, if a little rambling. Thank you very much. See you in the next exciting video. Bye.